In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can quickly open up Excel and create a VAT calculator for your business. I'm not going to be talking about what VAT is or anything like that, but if you're in business and you may be VAT registered, you may be hearing a lot about VAT added on to that, is it excluding, including VAT. So here is a quick way you can calculate VAT for each of your services very, very fast. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do, you're going to want to create an Excel sheet so once you've got it open let's put in the headings of each column so we're going to want to list our service cost so our service uh, let's just put your service cost now these aren't the proper headings uh, for it i tend to customize everything i do so my father the accountant is not going to be very happy with this but i want to make this really simple really easy for you to understand and apply and even if you don't create your own excel document if you head over to the link in the description uh, it will take you to the martyanglander.com website where you can actually download this very excel sheet so you can quickly get started uh, okay so we've got your service cost we've now got the vat so the vat in the uk is 20 percent and uh we're going to type where we're going to put how much the vat actually is as well as total cost plus vat now remember we don't need to understand what all of this is the only thing that's really going to matter at the end of the day is the numbers that we're going to put in here to make sure that everything is correct so we now have our four headings so let's just go like this put them in bold because i'm ocd when it comes to decoration now let's say i want to find out what the vat is of a hundred pounds so i'm going to type in a hundred there i'm going to um click on the um, pound symbol just so it automatically adds the pound in uh, we know that uh, the VAT is 20% so let's type in 20% here uh, this we don't know yet because we're going to put in a magic formula and this we don't know yet because we're also going to put in a another magic formula so the magic formula to number one find out what 20% of 100 pounds is is we're going to do the equal sign followed by we're going to take a till because we're highlighting this field right here you can see how it's now highlighted and we're going to times it by b2 and then we're just going to press enter so you can see that 20 percent of 100 is 20 or 20 percent of 100 pounds is 20 pounds that's really great so we now know that uh, the vat is 20 pounds but let's add that on because even though 100 plus 20 might be easy, we might get into some bigger numbers with decimal points and all sorts. So let's now add the magic formula to calculate that. So we're going to do A2 plus C2. We're going to press enter and you can see that that's now 120 pounds. So you know that your typical service costs 100 pounds. And if you want to add VAT onto it, then uh, VAT for the UK is 20%. And then with the VAT is 20 pounds. So the total cost is your service cost plus the VAT is 120 pounds. Now, let's say your VAT isn't 20%. Let's say it's 17%. Uh, so simply change the, seven, the 20 to 17% and you can actually see it's automatically changed everything. Let's change that back to 20% and the service cost, let's change that to £802.50. And now you can see that the VAT is £160.50 and the total cost is £963. Now, how can you apply this to all the columns well very simply just drag this all the way down and can you see how it's uh, this color so all you do is you click on the cell hover over the far right hand corner until the icon changes to this and drag all the way down just like so and you can see it's now calculated like that and if you want to do the same for this column as well the exact same just all the way down and then all you've got to do is add in what um what the cost is so let's do 500 and let's say it's 20 percent again 
and then you can see nice and easy just like that so hopefully this will give you an insight on how to calculate your vat and add it on to individual services uh, if you wanted to get really fancy and even say hey uh, if you're a web developer um, so you can actually even put service and you can of course put the uh, the business type so let's say it's web development or email signatures yeah uh, so very easy way on how to calculate your VAT. Uh, remember, if you do want to just download this spreadsheet uh, so you can use it for your own things without needing to apply it and input everything yourself, head over to the link in the description and uh, the download link will be found there. Thanks for watching and uh, leave a comment.